What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here on this beautiful Labor Day, um, bagging some bulk substrate outside since it's so nice. And I noticed that uh, one of my bags of soy had some corn mixed in it. So one of these questions I've always had in my mind is, does uh, grain contaminated in the soy bag um, affect the pasteurization of our bulk substrate. So I'm gonna prep some bulk bags and I'm just gonna mark this one with a C with that I had some corn in there. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna run it through the barrel and see if we have any issues. Um, I always thought that this was a non-issue, but I keep seeing this question over and over again in some of the forums. So I wanna figure it out for myself. If uh, this corn inside of the soy bag actually makes a difference or not. All right, so you can see, I just do my dry bagging and we've got some corn kernels here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark this with corn. All right. So I'm about 10 bags in and I've got another few kernels. Um, I'm just gonna label this bag corn as well. So now we got two and I'm gonna keep going till I fill up the barrel. Um, hopefully there's not too much more corn, but we'll find out if it even matters because I've been scooping this for years and um, I really just wanted to, you know, test this out and there's no better way than doing an experiment in the beautiful uh, September summer weather here in Colorado. So I found this little guy at the bottom and I'm gonna throw it in one more bag just to make it interesting. So we got three with corn.
Labor Day barrel is filled up. So I'm just going to turn on our Bubba Barrel pasteurizer and it's going to cook these blocks overnight. So all the corn ones are mixed in evenly and uh, hang in till the end to see the results. You may be surprised. Um, I'll probably be surprised because we never did this before. Alright, so I've got some Black Falcon Oyster spawn here and a couple of the corn bags and a couple of the regular bags. So I'm just going to use the same spawn on both the corn and the regular substrate and we'll figure out if it makes a difference um, at all. In my incubation area right now and we're gonna be moving in some new blocks this week but I wanted to do a quick update on the corn and the bulk substrate so it seems like um, we've got some good colonization happening you can see where these corn kernels were doesn't seem to be affected I maybe could have mixed the bags a little bit better but so far they are um, the corn ones are competing right alongside these other oats that were um, no corn seen in them, that were uh, not contaminated with corn kernels. And just to add the icing on the top, I did a bear's head uh, with the corn as well. And you can see that that's coming in um, nicely here, but I'll, I'll keep you updated. No signs of contamination. So um, these ones are gonna be waiting until next Tuesday though, and I'm gonna be moving in some shiitake, uh, oysters, piapino, and lion's mane. Everyone, so we've got the corn in the substrate in the back row here, and then we've got the non-corn substrates. Um, they all look to be pinning. The only thing I did observe is with uh, this bag here, this corner was not colonized. Now, I don't see any green that's mixed in that corner, so it could have just been mixing problems. Um, the pin set looks really healthy, and it's right on pace with the rest of the substrates. So we'll see how it goes through the rest of the fruiting phase, but right now it's looking super healthy. Yeah, so you can see we've got pretty even pin sets. Um, this is about a week into fruiting and everything is looking pretty good, including this bear's head right here.
All right, everyone. So it's time to pick these oyster mushrooms. I think that it's pretty clear um, they weren't affected too much about by those random grains. I know it wasn't the most thorough experiment. I might revisit this more and see if there's a limitation to how many grains can go into that bulk. But for now, it appears like they're just a little uh, corn nugget for the mushrooms. And aside from not mixing properly and maybe a couple pins um, getting a little bit dry, it seems to have, you know, not affected these beautiful oyster mushrooms. So I'm gonna pick these mushrooms. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. And until next time, much love. Say bye, Nolan. Bye-bye.